Recently, I attended an event at my daughter's high school. She was receiving an award for academic success, which by the way, she gets her intelligence from her mom, because I still have mine. Anyway, on with the story. The ceremony took place in the school gymnasium. Nothing fancy. There were two folding tables on one end of the gym for the principal and the guidance counselor. They read off their names, explained the significance of the award. In the middle of the gym, there were two simple folding chairs that were to mark where the students were supposed to walk. Us parents, we sat on the bleachers on one side of the gym. The kids sat on the other side. Before the ceremony, we had a dinner of ground turkey tacos. And on our way home, we got Baskin Robbins ice cream for dessert. Nothing fancy, just a little treat to celebrate. When we got home, I watched a couple innings of baseball before going to bed at 10 o'clock, which is about all the later I can stay up these days. In almost every imaginable way, there was nothing extravagant about the night. Now, it seems to me there are three approaches I could have taken during the evening. Number one, I could entirely unappreciate the night, begrudgingly attend the school event and complain about it the entire time. I could have been upset that I had to go out another night of the week. I could have thought about how tired I was from work, how many other things needed to be completed, or how I just didn't want to attend another thing. Rare, of course, is the parent who would choose option number one and complain about attending an award ceremony for their child, but they do exist. Number two, I could appreciate the beauty and the meaning of the evening for what it was. The night was simple, but meaningful, and there's a lot of beauty to be found in ordinary things. Or number three, I could daydream about how much better the night could have been with a few upgrades. I mean, we could have gone out for steak before the ceremony, and that would have made the night better. They could have hired a professional speaker, a local media personality, or special music for the event. They could have had a fancier queue line for the students. That would have been better. We could have sat on more comfortable chairs than bleachers. That would have been better. We could have chosen a fancier dessert, driven a newer car, or returned home to a bigger screen television. Certainly, any of those upgrades would have made the evening even more luxurious and enjoyable, right? I could have spent the entire night looking for all the ways it could have been better. But what benefit does that give to my life? How does it increase my happiness or joy in life to constantly think my life would be better if I just had X? None whatsoever. Nor would more comfortable chairs, a newer car, or fancier meal have changed the accomplishment and the meaning of the evening. Too often, we miss the beauty of ordinary things by wishing for something better. It is a gift to yourself to see the beauty of ordinary things, to not constantly look around you and your circumstances and dwell on all the ways we wish it were upgraded. Our world encourages discontent at every turn and our minds too often embrace it. Even though it seems unwise to discount the beauty right in front of us, we do it all the time. We wish the house was bigger, the restaurant was fancier, the vacation was more exotic, or the television was larger. We wish the furniture was fancier, the clothes were more fashionable, the phone was upgraded, or the mode of transportation was more luxurious. We wish the boss was more understanding, the weather was warmer, the stomach was flatter, or the bank account had more zeros in it. But when we live life constantly desiring more and better, we miss the beauty of the ordinary right in front of us. It is one thing to work to improve your lot in life, but it is something completely different to miss the beauty and blessings of the life you are currently experiencing. Wise is the man or woman who chooses to see them.